on a bright spring day. A little nip was in the air. But John wanted to play outside. He didn't care. Mummy said they could go and play as long as they wrapped up warm. They put on their gloves, their hats and their scarves and their warmest coats were worn. Mummy, Daddy, Millie and John headed out to the park. They took along Teddy their dog and he was so excited he gave a big bark. Millie brought her pram and pushed along her baby. She rolled it along the grass, she spotted and picked some daisies. John had brought his quad bike. He rode it, he was super speedy. He wore a helmet but Mum still worried. She said, John, take it easy. Daddy played fetch with Teddy, throwing his favourite ball. Mummy got distracted because she received a call. Bad news, Mummy said to John as he came racing by. Nursery just called me and they're shut tomorrow. John just said, why? Because their oven's broken and they can't make any food. John was quite upset and Mum said, sorry little dude. He did one more lap of the park and passed Millie and Baby. Teddy was tired from running. Dad said, time for home now maybe. They walked home then and John felt a little bad. He wanted to go to nursery so he got a little sad. When they walked through the door he got an idea. He spotted his play kitchen and said, we can make some food here. Me and Millie know how to cook. Can you call the nursery, Mum, and say we'll bring them all some? Great idea, Mum said, but I don't have the time. Then Nanny Kate and Grandad Paul arrived. Don't worry, Mum, we'll be fine. Nanny, can you help us to make some yummy meals? Of course we can, Nanny said. You've got yourself a deal. So John, Millie and Nanny Kate got to work in a hurry. They prepared a lovely pasta and a very yummy curry. Can we take some olives too, John said, when we go to preschool? Yes, we can, said Nanny Kate. That's a job for Grandad Paul. They baked some cakes and chopped some fruit and made some fluffy rice. What a lovely thing to do, John and Millie, Nanny Kate said. You're both so kind and nice. I like to help my friends, John said, and Millie likes cooking with me. Well, you've done a great job, Nanny Kate said. I think they'll be very pleased. The next day, they made their way to nursery with boxes stacked up high. John took them in a trailer attached to his quad bike. As he got to the door, his teacher came outside. She came running up to John. Her smile was bright and wide. She said, John and Millie, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've saved the day. John and Millie to the rescue. Yes, they have, haven't they? Mum said. Oh, I'm super proud. And all John's friends at nursery saw him and cheered really loud. That day they went to nursery and had a lot to eat. Everybody loved what they made, a really delicious treat. John was really glad that he could help out. He said, if anyone ever needs rescuing, just give me a million shout.